sit back, relax, let your conscience be free, get down to the sounds of Mr. B. All right, I'm here today to try and teach you how to create a quadruple line graph. You are currently on slide seven, and it says quadruple line graph. Well, first, let's take this information right here, title of slide. I'm gonna put Control X. I'm now going to end up putting Control V. I've got it up here. I'll enlarge it a little bit because it is the title of the slide. So let me make that a little bit bigger. I'll even bold it so it looks even better, All right? Now, what I can end up doing here is I'm gonna get rid of these here. Not that it means too much to you, right? But at this point, I now need to make sure that I can make a quadruple line graph. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. So let's get right to that, all right? So with my quadruple line graph, first thing that you need to do, you need to be able to go to your Google Drive. Make sure that you go into your science folder so that you can save everything right into your science folder, uh, specifically in your fast plans folder. I'm gonna go to create. Here I'm gonna end up going to create spreadsheet. Under create spreadsheet, I'm gonna hit create and share. Now what I wanna be able to do is, in A1, I wanna type in day. B, I want plant A. Now I want plant B, plant C, and I want plant D should be planty. There it goes. Now down the side here I'm going to end up putting my days down. Okay, And remember that with this first week we did day one, two, three, four, and then we skipped five and six because that was the weekend, and then we had day seven, day eight, day nine, and so on. Here's what it should end up looking like, something similar to this. Now, you guys had more days than this. You guys ended up um, going into day 30 something. Day 32 or so may have been the last day that we had. So your numbers are gonna keep going. This is your data for plant A and the height of plant A each day that you ended up taking um, your information from it. Here was the data for plant B, every day that you took information from it, plant C, plant D. The way I'm going to create my graph is to highlight this chart right here. I'm gonna to go to Insert, Chart. I'm now going to click on Charts. Here I'm gonna click on Line, and I wanna make sure that I choose a line graph. I'm now going to end up going to Start. Under Start, I wanna click Use Column A as Labels. Now I have numbers up the side, have numbers on the bottom. My x-axis is on the bottom. My y-axis, I got numbers going up. I now am ready to insert my chart. But my chart's not quite done yet. I still have to do a few things with this. So what I want to do is I want to edit it. I want to make sure that I put a title in for this. So I'm going to call this um, Height of Plants. And I'm going to label my left vertical axis title that's these numbers right here. What do these numbers mean? Well, these numbers are the height of the plant, and they are in centimeters. All right, label what it is. Make sure that you hit enter when you get done as well. Otherwise, it won't take. I did not hit enter with the chart title, and it didn't end up taking. Horizontal axis title. These numbers along the bottom are the days. Make sure you hit enter. Back to chart title for you, right? enter. Now, my I, I'm done. My chart has now been created. I'm going to go up to this little arrow that's right here. I'm going to click copy chart. Chart has now been copied. It says you can now paste the chart into documents and presentations. I want to put it into my presentation. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit control V. I hit control V. Here's my chart. Chart created Mr. V wins. That's all you need to know. Now I can end up making this thing a little bit bigger so that you can actually end up seeing that chart right on there. This is how you end up creating a line chart, a quadruple line graph. If you have any questions about how to do that, please make sure you stop, pause, 
and rewind. Spar, baby, spar.